I just wanted to show you this. So Steve, he's a dev at South Park Phone Destroyer. And he said, hey, just wanted to let you know you'll be receiving a leveled Robo Bebe at Event Start in order to help you make content. So thank you so much, Steve. I do really appreciate that. Um, guys, he's not all that bad. I'm sorry for any of you who didn't get him, but thank you so much. Um, ah, fuck. I kind of feel bad for talking shit now. Um, Steve, you're, you're a good guy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right. I enjoy the rest of the video. I'll put this in the beginning. See you guys. I don't know what the hell happened, but somehow we got Robo Bebe. Do you guys have Robo Bebe? I thought it was going to be added in this event. It really doesn't make sense why I have so many copies of her as well, but I am going to take it, guys. I was looking through my items, like seeing what kind of upgrades I could do, and I had a lot more sci fi items than I did the previous day, so. I, you know, I, I started looking around and I see that we have Robo Bebe. <laughs> Do you guys have Robo Bebe? But let's read about her and look at her. She's a common card. But whenever Robo Bebe kills an enemy, her speed increases. We have 315 out of 5 somehow. So we're going to upgrade her as much as we possibly can. I really don't know how this happened, but let's just go on and upgrade her. Let's see. Range is at 4, so I don't think that's going to increase. But her attack doesn't seem to be all that great right now. 26. Let's see what we can get it to by the end of all these upgrades. So we have 310 out of 10 right now. So what level can we get her to? I don't think I really have enough upgrade items to upgrade her past maybe level 4. Maybe I can get her close. Are, are we really able to get her to level 5? I don't think we'll have enough upgrade items, but I really hope we do. If we had enough enough upgrade items to get Robo Bebe to level 5, I would be screaming. I wonder if it's going to say invalid battle request. We're going to have enough to get Robo Bebe up to level 5. What is happening? Guys, I know this is just a glitch and most likely I'm never going to get these items back, but thankfully I didn't upgrade anything else with these items, so I can upgrade my Robo Bebe all the way up to level 5. You know, sometimes South Park Phone Destroyer destroys your dreams, but in today's video, they definitely made me happy. So we're going to just keep upgrading her. We're going to use all of our upgrade items on her. Try to max or get, get her close to maxed at level 5, which is absolutely insane, guys. I can't wait to try her out. I don't think anyone else has her. I might go ask around in my clan, but we're at 49 out of 55. <laughs> Let's put her in. Um, who should I put her in for? I think um, Program Stand's probably the best bet there. And then we're going to upgrade our Hook Hand Clyde up to level 3 because, I mean, it's pretty long overdue for that. But we can't really upgrade him much after level 3. I'll, I'll try to upgrade him as much as I can past level 3. But he's going to be a pretty weak level 3 at this point. So we upgraded him a couple times, but now we're out of the Indian Feathers. But halfway done. Uh, not really halfway done, but... Um, a couple more upgrades and then you know I'll max them out but I just need a ton of Indian feathers so yeah this is our deck we have a level 5 Robo Bebe somehow I I don't understand but I don't care to understand you guys probably thought this was clickbait I'm assuming but somehow I have a level 5 Robo Bebe so I guess you need um 315 cards to level up a common to level 5 which is interesting I thought it was actually a lot more than that but 315 doesn't really seem like a ton. But Robo Bebe is a sci-fi card. If you guys did not know, you probably saw that. But let's test her out today and see how effective she is. So we have Robo Bebe right off the bat. We're just going to drop it just to kind of fuck with this guy. Here, I'm going to take myself off the screen just so I can take a screenshot. There. Let's see. All right, I'm going to drop my Cyborg Kenny here. So she's going to start attacking a bit faster. She's killed one troop so far. I don't think anyone has seen Robo Bebe. So she is definitely attacking a little bit faster. I want to try her out against rats, but I'm just going to let her die there. Because, ooh, okay. An Officer Barbrady at level 5, then this deckhand buddies. I'm going to play a hook hand Clyde in the back. Come on, do some damage to that Barbrady. He didn't. That's okay, though. We're going to drop a Heidi. We have hook hand Clyde. And then we also have our Cartman here. But if my troops are near the explosion, they're all going to die. And he's probably going to do some damage to my tower as well. So, he speeds up everything, but we're going to drop a Sally for that Smuggler Ike, and he's going to do a ton of damage to my Heidi and almost kill my Hook Hand Clyde. 
Now I think this is a good cyborg can he push. He may have rats, that's typically what I see, but he has arrow storm and that kills a level four cyborg Kenny. I personally don't even think that should happen. I don't think that should be the case. That seems a little bit too OP, but you know, I'm not even gonna be mad today. Oh my God, that officer Barbrady did so much damage to our tower as well. So that's pretty tough. A level five officer Barbrady is definitely the way to go in this game. So let's drop a space, oh no, this is an obvious play. We're gonna drop our Alien Clyde and then get ready to drop our um, Robo Bebe. I know I haven't seen any any Robo Bebe's today, but a level five one, that's absolutely insane. I honestly can't believe that. Now let's go on a little bit of a push and then we're just gonna save up some energy. Ooh, that's, yep, fireball. Fireball value is just insane. I just fed him fireball value. Alright, we're gonna drop a Sheriff Cartman and Robo Bebe combination. Now I'm gonna drop rats right here, kinda to distract. Oh my god! This guy has another arrow storm. Okay, our Robo Bebe is still alive. Come on, drop some rats for my Robo Bebe. I've wanted to try that out. I also wanted to try it out for my um for my with with my astronaut butters. I wanted to try that out as well. Alright, my cyborg Kenny is higher level, so he'll kill him. And basically I have to deal with a level four cyborg Kenny because he's higher level than a level three. That's nice. It's nice to know. It's not a card that you should really upgrade because of that fact, but I think we have a chance at winning this one. He still has that officer Bar Brady though, and he does have fireball as well. So we did a little damage with our hook hand Clyde. We just need to get to the tower as quickly as possible. Ooh, this guy's got a nice combination here. That's obvious poison value. And then he also has this deckhand butter, so we're gonna try to take out this smuggler Ike first, then kill the deckhand butters. He's going to heal, oh my god. Oh no, 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 no! Yep, that's over, guys. Um, really, I, I thought I was gonna kill that deckhand butters there, but sadly I didn't. We tested out Robo Bebe, though. Well, so let's, let's test her out a couple more times, and then, you know, I'll tell you my opinion on her. Typically, I don't use rate, any ranged units, so I don't use um, Timmy's. I would use Mecha Timmy if I got them. I don't use, like, Wendy's. I think I might use Captain Wendy eventually. We'll see. But, yeah, I rarely use any sort of ranged units, so Robo Bebe is probably not one I'm going to play much, but at level 5, I mean, damn, I, I, gotta, I, I have to have her at least, like, available sometimes in my deck. Because she's level 5, so why not? So we're facing someone 463rd in the world, which I'm not very confident going against. But we're going to test it out, and we're definitely going to drop some Robo Bebe's as much as we possibly can in in this um, gameplay. So we're going to drop Robo Bebe in the back. I really hope to go against some rats with her. I think that would be the best combination. We're going to kill the dog poo with Robo Bebe, hopefully. Come on! I think she killed him. So we're going to see if he's... if um, he has any faster attack. This guy is just allowing me to take out a section of his tower. I mean, I'll take it. Is he not trying or what? Okay, holy shit! Robo Bebe just shot from fucking... The other free throw line or something. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's just win this one. I'll be back in a second, guys. I mean, I'll take the Indian feathers. I need those. I'll take the Alien Clyde as well. There we go. Wow, thank you. Well, the event is out, so I will make a video for this for tomorrow. But let's see. Do I still have Robo Bebe is the question. I still do have Robo Bebe to level 5. So, come here, guys. Come here. Come here. Let me talk to you. Don't tell South Park Phone Destroyer about this, please. This isn't just between me and you, okay? So keep keep it on the low low. I don't know if that's a saying, but keep it on the low low. And just don't tell anybody, please. I want this level five Robo Bebe. And I hope to get a lot more cards of her. This guy is definitely a great player, but we're gonna try to win this one. We'll see if it actually happens. Let's see how we're gonna play this. All right, Mecha Timmy, Alien Clyde for Mecha Timmy, hopefully. Level four program stand. Of course he targets like literally the last person I would want him to target. Uh, our Robo Bebe is still in back. I hope she kills that program stand. Come on, kill him. Nope, she's frozen right now, so she's not going to kill him. Is that Hook Hand Clyde? Thankfully he doesn't target my Robo Bebe. 
Honestly, she's like a decent card. She shoots pretty slow starting out, so you're definitely going to need to get some kills with her to really speed her up. But he's going to switch the team of my Robo Bebe. Then we're going to drop a Space Warrior token and a Sally for that Enforcer Jimmy. And hopefully they kill the Hook Hand Clyde in time. I don't think they're going to, yeah. This Hook, or this Mecha Timmy is, or, I'm sorry, the Mecha Timmy is just not going to die. Alright, there we go. And we have Space Warrior Token's ability. It doesn't really matter. Let's see what kind of damage. Alright, so she's at 68 damage and she's shooting pretty fast. Come on, go, go, go. One more. Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy shit. Holy fuck. Okay. So she is pretty tanky. I'm gonna be honest. Wow. Oh my god, I'm surprised by that. Jesus Christ. That was some wicked damage, and she was shooting quickly after only one kill. So I think, like, her first kill, or before her first kill, she's going to be shooting super slowly. But after she gets that first kill, you can definitely see the increase in her speed. And wow, like, I'm impressed. I, I definitely am impressed about that. So come on, Hook Hand Clyde, take out one of them. Yes, he, took, he takes out the program stand, which I definitely wanted that to happen. Come on, kill the Hook Hand Clyde. Nope, they're going to kill the Deck Hand Butters first. That's okay. Come on, do some damage to that Hook Hand Clyde. Kill him. Level 4 Hook Hand Clyde is deadly. This is actually the guy I was talking about facing. He has all level 4 epics, and I beat him before, and I'm going to beat him again. So, I'm Scott Malkinson. Dude, I'm sorry. You're just... You're not on my level, boy. Get on my level. If you're watching this video, I've, I've beaten you a couple times, and you have all level 4 epics, boy. Come on. Get your head in the game. So, I will try it out later. Robo Bebe with Hyperdrive. I think that could be a deadly combination, especially if you catch someone off guard with it. But we're just going to drop a Cyborg Kenny here and kind of wait it out. Whoever kills Cyborg Kenny is all good. Okay, now we just gotta wait for this, and we aren't going to get my pack, sadly. We're not gonna get the pack today, but we're gonna see what we get from this locker. And then I will make a video for tomorrow for this event, and hopefully I get most of it done, if not all of it done. I don't know if it's another team event. I hope it is. We'll see if it is or not. I don't really know. But, come on. Ooh, okay. So what are those? Mechanical parts. We just need mechanical parts now. I'm not really going to spend money to get them. I'll just grind my ass off um, as much as I possibly can. But let's see if it's a team event. Let's see. It is another team event. Awesome. All right. Hopefully my team is grinding their asses off to get all these mechanical parts. And I guess I'll make a video for it tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. I'm sorry to say I got a level 5 Robo Bebe for any of you who didn't get her. But it's tough luck.